So today we're gonna go ahead and discuss the Jordan 1 Heritage. And this sneaker, I'm just gonna let you know, this sneaker is legit, it is really nice, and the colorway is super similar to the Travis Scott. If you see, this is the Travis Scott frag, but look at this right here, I mean, you know, if you ain't got this one, I mean, your next best thing is to get this one. I'm just going to put that out there. Let's talk about it. What is really good, Familia? Welcome back to the channel to Familia Kicks HQ, where we go ahead and discuss all things sneaker shoe related. And guys, today we're talking about the Jordan 1 Heritage. Now, this, this is a nine and a half. And guys, this sneaker right here is a beautiful sneaker. Now we're gonna go ahead and just straight up jump right into it to the obvious, which is, yes, a lot of people are saying that the color blocking is like the frag color blocking. Now this is supposedly rumored to release a few years ago and it pretty much did not go ahead and get released. Now according to Sneaker News, they went ahead and released an article where they go ahead and discuss that for Jumpman, heritage is everything. It's what the label itself is predicated on. And to pay homage to the culture, they went ahead and created this sneaker, which they aptly named the Jordan 1 Heritage, which effectively mimics an unreleased pair from many years ago. Now everybody and their mama is comparing this to the Travis Scott color blocking. Why? Because it looks so similar. Now this is going to go ahead and be the medial side. But look at this. I mean, look at this and look at this pretty much the same color blocking. Now the materials are not created the same. Obviously with the Travis Scott, you got pretty much tumbled leather throughout the whole sneaker, but this is really nice. Now what we find here in this sneaker is all the white leather portions are gonna be genuine leather, nothing crazy about them. The only thing that I have noticed from the white leather themselves is that lateral panels, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but they have this slight tumbledness right here. If you guys can see that, I don't know. Right here, they have like this slight tumbleness. It's almost like a crease. It doesn't look like a like a worn crease. What it looks like is a crease, like you know the turbo ones? It kind of reminds me of those. Like that weird linear pattern of tumbleness that they have, except it's not all over. It's literally just one or two creases here. And on the other pair, you do have it in the same location on the lateral portion of it, if you see it right there. So it's kind of weird, um, but it's also nice and welcomed as well. Here we also find on the red portions the heel along with the upper right here by the ankle area as well as the swoosh and the toe box you have really soft when i say soft i mean this the softness of it is super super soft tumbled leather it's just pebbled all over it looks really really nice the leather is comparable to the travis scott frag leather or your pine greens any type of tumbled super soft leather on a retro one this is what you're going to get all over with the red honestly this is a really simple design you have the black as well on the upper ankle area and the black leather is super tumbled as well really soft and these are going to come with black laces also with white laces right here and red laces so you're going to get three pairs of laces you also get a special box with this Right here, you do get the special white box, which is really nice. I'm always down for that detail. The smell on these is crazy. Like, it's like they just, they, they made these, they did not give them time to settle in. A lot of people complain about that. I'm not going front, I love the smell of that glue smell. Like, come on now. I just wanna put that in a bottle and just spray it, lather myself in it. Come on, it may sound weird, but you know you want to do the same. With the tag, you have your regular tag right here with the black and red. You also, when you take out the shoe tree, do have the white insole with the Nike and the air swoosh right there on the heel portion. And other than that, guys, that's pretty much what this sneaker is. It's a really simple shoe, simple design, very simple color blocking, two materials, tumbled leather, regular genuine leather. And other than that, you got three pairs of laces, a special box. This is what the shoe is. I think it's a really good summer shoe. The white hits really nice. That red also, with just it just complements each other really, really nice. I think it's a really clean shoe and it's a sleeper. I think they're worth it. I think these can definitely be sort of like an everyday pair that you can rock. Really matches with everything as long as you incorporate some type of red 
in your outfit. So all in all, guys, I think this is a legit pair of sneakers to have in your regular rotation. Really great summer sneaker. I think for the price right now, the way it stands, it's a really great pickup. You guys should go ahead and pick it up ASAP. I think you'll be pleased with the white leather. And I, I kind of like the contrast with the regular leather. Too much tumbled leather, it kind of like just feels monotonous, I guess. But I, I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this regular leather with the majority of it being tumbled. I think it adds a nice little, a little touch to it, a little sprinkle of something different. So guys, I appreciate you guys as always. My family, mi familia, my people, mi gente. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to your boy if you haven't already. Be a part of the family. Thank you guys so much. Peace.